uh, before bodybuilding, I used to I used to run a lot. Yeah, so I used to be super fast. Um, I don't remember my 40 or my 100, but um, I used to be pretty fast. I am slower from weights though, definitely, because I don't combine like I don't do much functional training. So I, I'm I'm only stick to bodybuilding. So really, something I'm working on is to you know implement functional training so I can be you know more flexible or if I want to go on a uh, on a run if I want to sprint um, I'm gonna be able to do that so that's one thing I really want to work on do you lift more weight less reps or less weight more reps uh, less weight more reps definitely that's that's the majority of the time that's what I do what method of cardio do I do um, at the moment I do not do cardio at all who are your inspirations slash people you look up to so other than my dad I'd say Christian Guzman, Jeff Side, Brian Turner, those are my main three. So yeah, Christian Guzman, Jeff Side, and Brian Turner. Is it dangerous for you at your age to be doing weights? No, definitely not at all. You can start at, I'd say, minimum like 11, 12, but no, no younger than that. And really, what it is, is about training smart and gradually increasing the weight and you will, you know, you'll just be fine. You won't injure yourself, you won't stunt any of your growth things. As far as lifting, are you doing going towards more physique or bodybuilding? Physique. I think my first physique composition will be in the summer of 2016. And my homeschooled. Uh, a lot of people ask this. I don't know why, I think it's just because I post pictures strictly bodybuilding and nothing else to do with my life, but no, I go to a public school. I am a freshman in high school. Do you count your macros? I do not count my macros right now. I just eat clean, high quality whole foods. Are you ever coming over for, to the UK for expos? Most likely next year. What is the key to my success? I'd say the key to my success is visualizing myself succeeding at what I want. Believing I can do it, because that's what it truly is. Believing you can do what you want it is the ticket. If you don't believe, you're not going to get anywhere. It's like, it's like, okay, I can see myself, you know, doing pretty well. And then if you don't believe, boom, block. You can't, you can't do anything without believing. So what I'd say for other people that want to be super successful, I'd say start off small with small little goals and start off, you know, let's say you're in the gym and you want to gain, you know, like 50 pounds on your bench press, you know. You visualize yourself pushing that weight, you visualize yourself being happy that you hit that new PR, you know, 50 plus pounds. And um, once you get that feeling and once you... It's my dad. Hello? Hey, you, um, who are you with now? No, I'm filming the question and answer video. Oh, because I was going to, um, this is another adult. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, that was my dad. Um, back to the question. What the, okay, I was talking about. Oh, so after you know, after that bench press, you know, goal, you know, before you hit that, you know, you visualized it and you you believed it because it was a small goal, right? So you were you were pretty confident that you were going to hit it. So once you once that actually does happen, you go wow. If I really do believe something, I can achieve it, just like I achieved this bench press goal. So you start small, you know, with your goals, and you get bigger and bigger and bigger. And once there are huge goals, like, oh, I want to get, I want to get a million dollars, you know, I want to have a million dollar year, you know, make a million dollars this year. And you visualize it, and you believe it, and you put, you know, put work in. It's bound to happen because you believe it was going to happen. Do you train with your dad? Uh, I do not anymore. I train mostly by myself. Uh, he used to he used to train me um, for the first four or five months of you know before, as I started lifting. But uh, when I began lifting, but uh, he does not anymore. Do you see any fitness supplement or clothing companies partnerships in the near future? I definitely do. Um, I am not gonna say. I'd say, okay, so I'd say my dream companies to be sponsored by would be Alphalete Athletics, Christian Guzman owns that company, and Gymshark. The key to getting sponsored, let's go into the, this, um, 
because I just uh, got that question too, is um, the key to getting sponsored is having a super high following and a good personality. If you don't have those two, you're not really going to get sponsored by any huge companies that you want to get sponsored by. What are your hobbies outside of bodybuilding? I'd say cinematography and photography. Um, those are, I guess, my main two other than bodybuilding. Um, it kind of wraps around all together because, you know, if you're good at take, taking pictures, it's kind of, you know, helpful for your Instagram. And if you like editing and shooting videos, then it's kind of helpful for your YouTube. So it all kind of ties around. How many times do you do abs per week? I do not train abs at all. It is completely genetic because I don't hold any fat around my midsection. I hold it in my lower back. And uh, so, yeah, that's so many people ask me how what I do for my abs and uh, how many times I train them, but I, I don't. I don't train them at all. <clears throat> favorite song. Um, my favorite song right now is T Mass, My Turn. Go check it out. It's awesome, and you can use it for videos, and you won't get uh, it won't get taken down by YouTube because it's copyright free. Have you had any weight-related injuries or physical issues? Mainly just the elbow kind of just kind of pops from time to time, but that's mainly the thing. I mean, I've tr I've I've trained smart my you know the whole two years I've been training, so I don't really have anything. When did I hit puberty? Hit puberty around the time. I started bodybuilding actually. I think I think that's what's really helped with my success because I started growing super fast. I really I really saw results within like the first two, three, four months. And um, yeah, so that's when I thought when I think I hit it. Would you ever do a day in the life type of video? Yes I will. Um, soon. Um, probably during the summer. Am I planning to move to California later on in my life? I have no idea. I really like Seattle, so I think I'm gonna stay here. Maybe, I don't know. How do you get your meals in and stay on track when there is school? So what I do is I have breakfast, and then I have two protein bars within. So it'll go breakfast, then first period, second period, in the middle second period, I'll have a protein bar, which is normally Quest Bar, and then third period will go by, and then fourth period, in the middle of fourth period, I'll have another quest bar. So that I think both quest bars combined are counted as one meal. So that's two meals, and then another period will go by, fifth period, and then lunch hits, and then I'll have lunch, and then there are two more periods after that, and after that I'll have a meal right after, right when I get home, and then a meal before the gym, and a meal after the gym, and maybe some snacks. So that's how my day goes for meals. Do you plan on going to college and what kind of career do you want to build for yourself? Um, right now, I have no idea if I want to go to college because I'm only a freshman in high school. And um, the career I want to build for myself is a career in the fitness industry, definitely. Do I have Snapchat? Yes, I do. My Snapchat is RC Aesthetics. Uh, what is my training split? Uh, my training split is chest, back, arms, and shoulders, rest rest, arms, legs. That's my split. Can you show your ID so we can see that you're really 14 years old? So I'm 15 now, but I will um, throw up my picture of my ID. Okay, and the last question is, how do you balance school slash homework and working out and eating healthy at the same time? So mainly what I do is, schoolwork obviously has to come first, sucks but getting my meals in is kind of easy I've kind of just you know ingrained it into my day you know how I already said I already said it's in my meals and so I'd say right after school do my homework have my pre-workout meal work out and that's around like seven or eight o'clock at night and then have my post-workout meal and go to bed so really it's eat sleep train school that's my main four man and uh, yeah, so that was the last question. Um, thank you guys so much for leaving all those questions. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, my Instagram is rc underscore aesthetics. It'll be right, right here or somewhere on the screen. Um, definitely follow me. I post every single day on there. Um, and I will be posting one video a week on this channel. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out.